Red Bull just had a good weekend all around because Checo ended up P2. He actually had a good qualifying. A really good qualifying. Um, yeah, which is funny that we say that because this time last year, he was, what, winning races and qualifying P2. Yeah. Um, and doing really, really well. And then he kind of, like, hit a decline, I'd say, like, after Miami. Oh, yeah, um, yeah right after. And so, yeah, he kind of turned it around. He qualified very, very sliver behind Max. Had a good race. No notes. Good yeah, job. Yeah, I, I, but I also, I haven't had a chance to look it up, but I, I'm pretty sure this is one of his closest – um margins between him and Max in a very long time because oh, yeah. yes there were you know 2022 season early portion of last season where he was qualifying you know right behind Max but not in you know less of a tenth of a margin um so that mm-hmm. was that that is you know good for the fact that Checo could potentially be looking for a seat next year he said that um on on in I saw a report somewhere that he he said that he should know within the next month what his future with Red Bull is going to look like um was it that he will or that he wants to uh, I think it's I think it's will okay yeah honestly I feel like they'll just keep him I, I feel like that's the trajectory that they're on right now, especially with his performance to start the season. Red Bull has had three one twos in four races yeah. um, and two constructors have given four um, one twos for the first time in the history of Formula One, which is just absolutely bananas. Well, and I'm going to say to everybody, take this with a grain of salt, but I feel like Red Bull looks at Checo and they say, He's improving. He's doing better. He's also a good little soldier who will just fall in line and Max will be number one. He's our second driver. He'll listen to anything we tell him because he's a good little soldier. And when I say that, I say that with the fact and knowing that every single post he posts on social media is clearly a team order and he has, he has zero voice. Um, And again, that's why I'm not a huge fan, but I feel like Red Bull will just keep him around, around because it's the easiest path to success for Max. If well, they bring well, yeah. in someone super competitive who's actually going to challenge him truly, that's not good for Max. And Max is the golden child. So I feel like that's what, a, a huge reason why they'll keep Checo. Well, well, exactly. One of the things that, you know, Red Bull understands that Max Verstappen, three-time world champion, is their guy. And that this the other driver needs to understand that Max is the guy. And that was, you know, when you think about Danny Ricardo, he left Red Bull because Max was the guy. And he felt that he wasn't getting enough, you know, respect, acknowledgement, whatever, what have you, um, which led him him on the, the the trail of terrible no good career decisions um but it's you know that is you know obviously a good driver is a factor but also you know to be able to live with the fact that max is going to be ahead of you yeah. is another big factor and like yes we would all love to see carlo signs in a red bull race suit again but will that actually work out no i don't know i mean yes it, i don't know Ooh, I don't know.